Hey, Jacksonville, what is up? Welcome to the Five Star Design Show. Remember, life is too short for boring backyards. Yeah, we're all stressed out, and so our goal at Five Star Design is simple. We just want to create really cool projects where people actually use their backyards and enjoy their life. You've spent hours moving couches around your living room, trying to create a nice conversation area, comfortable place to hang out and relax. We've all done it. But then you go outside, you build a boring 10 by 10 concrete patio, you just throw furniture out there, and then you wonder why you hate your backyard. You need to do the same thing with your outdoor space. You need to think and you need to plan. Avoid the hodgepodge and remember, dare, dare to, to do, do something, something cool, cool with, with your backyard. backyard. Next on the Five Star Design Show, a South Florida style backyard. This typical backyard is going to get a five star design makeover. The homeowner wants to add a pool and create a great entertaining space that includes a fire feature. So stay tuned to see how we are going to totally transform this backyard. Coming up next on the Five Star Design Show. Our homeowner wants a pool and entertaining space including a fire feature. To design this project we are going to have to overcome three basic challenges. Lots of grass, not so interesting views and where to put the pool. Take a look at what we're working with. This really looks like 90 percent of the backyards that we see. This yard has three things. Grass, grass and more grass. Totally boring. It's not that I'm totally anti-grass, I just think we can be a little more creative with it. It doesn't always have to be a big boring rectangle. It can be used more creatively, as you will see with our design solution. You know, views are critical to a good design, but sometimes we have to work around really bad views. Yeah, you know, like the neighbor's car that they have up on the cement blocks in their front yard. Or maybe their great attempt at building a shed, or so they call it. And then other times, there's just no defined views at all. Your eye doesn't even know where to look. A large part of landscape design is really just organizing things. You want to organize the views and don't leave them up to chance. Tell the eye where to look. It's just like putting a piece of artwork on the wall. It doesn't look right until you frame it. In this case, from inside the house, there's a nice view of the preserve but absolutely nothing to invite you out. We have an idea about building a wall out there to create an invitation, but we'll talk more about that during the design. Another important part about good design is circulation. You know, in all of our projects, you're gonna hear us talk about how you get from one place to the other. Yeah, circulation really is important to the project, but let's don't call it circulation, that's so boring. Let's call it flow. Think of the house driveway, foyer, living room, kitchen, there's a definite plan flow to how you walk through your house. Let's create nice flow continuing from inside the house, outside, and through the garden. Now with this project, the flow is going to be very important. Where are we going to place the pool? So many times we see a pool placed in and then there's just a three-foot concrete band around it. We say avoid the dreaded three-foot band. When you design a pool, you want to make sure you design in a generous area for entertaining and furniture. Remember, anytime you install a pool, avoid the dreaded three-foot band. Pool in the middle of the yard is just going to kill the space because then it makes both the left and the right side just too small to make a nice outdoor living room. Pool to the left will kill the gathering space because it would make you have to walk just too far to get there. It would feel disconnected. In reality, it's not going to be that far, but we really do want the flow to work great. So, if we can't put the pool on the left and we can't put it in the middle, hmm, I wonder where we're going to put the pool. This is really going to be a tough challenge. Gee, maybe we should put the pool on the right. We almost instantly decided to put the pool on the right. It's definitely going to work best here. But this creates another problem in itself because you can't see the pool from in the house. So we're going to have to create a real strong invitation coming out. This is really going to be a challenge. 
This client had a backyard with plenty of grass. There was absolutely nothing drawing her out to the backyard. And because she loves to entertain, she decided on a tropical feel that included a pool, a fire feature, and places to relax. But with a blank slate, you need a plan. This is where the design comes in. Remember, before we get into the design, it's important to realize that none of our designs are the same. They're really as different as our clients are. You're going to see in upcoming episodes of the Five Star Design Show that each of our designs are totally unique. So keep watching. We can't wait to show you some of these incredible projects. For this design, we had three general ideas to guide us. Here. No, here. Here. No, here. So we put the pool on the right side of the yard and we avoided the dreaded three foot band. This is really going to make a cool space. Plus we have some surprises in store for the pool. And we're going to use the wall to really create a great invitation from inside the house. It's going to hold in the space and it's also going to frame the preserve. You know in Japanese gardens all the time they use all kind of materials to frame a great view in the landscape. Well we're going to steal an idea. I mean, we're going to borrow an idea from these gardens. Yvette, that's what's cool about design. You learn the principles and then you get to apply them in any style that you want. Look how much better I look framed. Uh, moving right along. This wall is going to be Japan meeting South Florida style. So stay tuned to check it out. Now that we've designed to avoid the dreaded three foot band, we have plenty of room for furniture. It's about time. We've been talking about pool placement and Japanese gardens and views and circulation. But furniture? Now you're talking my language. But Yvette, circulation really is important to this project. Please, come on, let's go shopping. All right. Wow, we really are in the 21st century. Outdoor furniture is not what it used to be. I mean, this is real furniture, not like grandma's lawn furniture. I'm telling you, with all this amazing furniture, we can create a dynamic outdoor living room. Yvette, what do you think about this effect? Maybe on another project, Tony, but I don't think it quite works with this one. There's so much great furniture here, it's hard to choose. I think we need to give this furniture a realistic test to see if it's gonna work in real life. Ah, yeah, this is the life. Hey, Yvette, go get me something to drink. Yeah, like that's real life. Yvette? 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 There's so many great collections here at Southern Casual, but I think we found exactly what we need with this Seaside collection. It's really going to work great in this space, and we can use different groupings to create different room effects. Also, the project has so many neutrals, that just with a little bit of color, it's going to go a long way. Our client is fun, generous, and loves to entertain, just like me. Yeah, we don't want to create a project and just assume that entertainment's going to happen. It would be like building a house without a living room and then thinking that you're going to relax. Tony, are you relaxed yet? No. Told you we should have designed in a living room. So think about how you want to use your space and always design intentionally. Well, this project's complete. So let's take a look.